So I'd like to uh, welcome everyone to our press conference for the uh, Water Palooza weekend coming up just this weekend, May 21st to 23rd. Uh, this whole event is a fundraiser for the soul of the Delta film and also a way to get more connectivity uh, and to help re-economize the Delta in uh, response to the proposed Delta tunnel conveyance. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the website here and just show you a little bit uh, about what the event is and how the event will be working. So you can see uh, Water Palooza weekend and the events are fundraiser, again, celebrating the soul of the Delta and the film coming out. Um, I do have another press release, uh, press meeting today at K High Radio at 4.30 p.m. But it should be an amazing event. Uh, the event is broken into three different days and three different events. Uh, the first event will be taking place on May 21st. We're having actually a, a, a VIP event um, at uh, Wimpy's Marina, a, a kind of a pirate party on a restored pirate ship. And then on Saturday, we're helping to re-economize the Delta and support local businesses by doing a series of pop-up events, which means that you have a choice of going to different events. They'll be starting at 10 a.m. in the morning. Uh, you can go and visit the Consumnus River Preserve. Uh, you can go out to the Delta Farmer's Market and get some fresh organic produce and get what you need for a nice picnic in the preserve. Uh, we're also inviting people just to do a little drive through Staten Island uh, to see the 8,500 acre Nature Conservancy Sandhill Crane Preserve. Um, and you can also get on to uh, up to Clarksburg to Rusty Gold Designs where they're gonna have an open gallery all day long. Uh, the event really kicks off at 11 a.m. with a tour of historic Lock, um, led by Douglas of the Lock Foundation. And this will be an opportunity to see all of the uh, different boarding house and the museum and some of the uh, different features of this very unique town in the uh, Delta uh, estuary. After that, we're going to visit the Ninghao Gallery followed by a assembly of people out at Stone Lakes National Wildlife Refuge. who will be having a presentation from the Shingle Springs Miwok. After that, we'll be out at uh, Hemley Cider, where we're gonna get a chance to meet uh, Sarah Hemley and uh, have some of the cider and juice tasting. And uh, that should be a nice relaxing day in the pear, pear fields there in Cortland. Cortland, of course, world renowned for its pears. Uh, Clarksburg, we're going to have a uh, afternoon social at Usyk's Tap House with food, drink, and music. And then later that evening, people will be able to go for a nice sit-down dinner at the Ride Hotel, of course, the historic Ride Hotel. That'll be followed by a Saturday evening Prohibition-era party uh, with live music from the Forgotten Fitzgerald Five, followed by a late-night DJ set of Electro Swing West Coast style with DJ Malarkey. And then Sunday is the all day garden party from 10 a.m. to noon. People have the option of a sit down brunch, the legendary brunch at the Ride Hotel buffet. Uh, and then after that, from uh, 11 a.m. all the way through the day, we'll have two stages of entertainment happening, uh, including John Morris playing classical and flamenco guitar, a Sacramento uh, area favorite, Mignon Gelly doing indigenous music, uh, Makata, a West African marimba ensemble. Uh, music from uh, some folk and rock with Billy Bensing, John Miner's Blue Cinema, and then some more local favorites with Funk Shui, uh, a local funk band. And then we'll be finishing off the day with the World Beatniks, uh, which is a seven piece world music dance band uh, from the Nevada City area. We're also going to have a, a very unique film festival happening in the Ride Ballroom. Now, as you can see, we gave a little map. And again, all of this is on the website, waterpaloozafestival.com. And you can kind of get a sense of the Delta, uh, where the different locations are. And uh, all of them are, are easily navigated to. It might take you uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes um, between locations to get from site to site. And we tried to program it so that you could actually catch a little bit of everything. So again, this is an event put on by Golden Road Productions uh, in collaboration with the Sacramento River Watershed Project. I'm gonna share a quick video about that 
and about Soul of the Delta, and that'll about conclude our press conference. And uh, here you go, Sacramento River Watershed Project. We hope you enjoy. The Sacramento River Watershed Project is a nonprofit organization dedicated to preservation, education, and regeneration of our most precious resource, water. The organization works in a dozen counties in the watershed, ranging from the glacial waters of Mount Shasta to the unique estuary of the Sacramento River Delta. We are committed to focusing on three main issues, stopping and removing environmental toxins, including herbicides, pesticides, microplastics, and pharmaceuticals, working with decision makers to prevent mismanagement, and working to prevent privatization and the devastating impact to our communities and the environment. For more information, go to www.sacramentoriverwatershedproject.org or call 530-362-8264. Great, so that was a quick video of the uh, Sacramento River Watershed Project, and I'm really happy. Uh, I know he's been really busy working on this event. We're really happy to have uh, Mr. Bob Saunders on the, the phone right now. Uh, Bob, I don't know if you want to share a few words. I know you're having an issue with your camera, but if there's something you'd like exactly. to add. Yeah, um, yeah, welcome everybody. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, so essentially one of the things that happened is that when we went down to the Delta to have a round table. Water protected tour. Um, we realized um, some of the issues that were going on and um, so, some of the fact of that essentially the Delta behind the scenes and little known to a lot of people unless you live there are so impacted by um, all the machinations that are going on and the push from the go governor and um, uh, Department of Water Resources and uh, DWR and MWD, which is Metropolitan Water District in LA, that they're basically uh, are trying to de-economize the Delta and essentially look at it as like a throwaway area, an area that once was something special, but now is, you know, uh, you know, day, days long, long gone, and the only value they have is the water that's there. Um, the problem about that, you know, so <laughs> that really irked me and irked Michael. And, um, you know, we listened to people talk about how they were multi-generational families, how their, you know, great grandparents had come from, whether it was China or another part of the United States, settled in the Delta, or they grew up in the Delta and how there's going to be a tunnel that's going to be running through their property, their pear fields, um, destroy their home because it's in the way and things like that. And um, so we decided to really focus time and energy in it. And that gave birth to a film that we, we made a documentary film called Soul of the Delta um, to highlight the opposition for the proposed Delta uh, single tunnel conveyance plan. And also it's really, um, it's really a, a human interest story about how it will impact lives, businesses, culture, history uh, of the people of the Delta. And you know, part of it also is we wanna stress that um, it's not just about stopping the tunnel, but it's also about saving and restoring the Delta because um, you know, the Delta needs some work. We can't just leave it as it is in, in um, perpetuity. We, um, there are things going on there like all over, any any um the rest of the uh, watershed and other parts of the country as well as michael talked about microplastics glyphosate um you know just contamination and of course all the power and water grabbing by the water barons and the um multi-billion dollar um global corporations who are trying to control the water all over the world and you know we see it on a local level what's happening here but it's really happening on a global level and essentially, 
we need to stop it right at the gates because essentially what happens is uh, one day if um, these corporations, multi-billion dollar global corporations own the water, who's going to get it? How much are you going to pay for it? And who's going to decide who gets it and who doesn't? And, right. Um, right. Good, good, you know. good, good point, Bob. Let's take a little yeah. look at the, the film and uh, and we'll be back in just another minute for uh, the closing of the press conference. So this is a mm -hmm. quick trailer of the Soul of the Delta film, and we hope you enjoy. So that was a little clip. Uh, we hope you enjoyed that. And uh, just to finish, I'm going to show a little clip about Water Palooza. We'll kind of end on that note. But um, before we do that, I want to thank uh, Cress for helping to set up uh, this press conference. And of course, my uh, partner in this event, Mr. Bob Saunders and all the work he does. Uh, we do want to let people know that we're actually celebrating a, uh, a big victory right now with uh, Crystal Geyser rolling up shop up at Mount Shasta and uh, closing down the bottling plant, which was pulling out a half billion bottles um, of plastic water bottles a day out of the aquifer. So that's been a huge victory. And I like to share that because we want people to know that there actually is the opportunity for success uh, to work on uh, water safety and water security issues, because the big part of it is a lot of people I think right now feel um, hopeless or apathetic, or there's not much they can do. And we're also realizing that uh, a lot of pe people at the time of COVID have been really, uh, you know, sheltered in place and kind of feeling um, they don't have the ability to actually do anything or make any real change. So uh, before we finish with the Water Palooza video, I just want to again uh, thank uh, Cress and Bob Saunders for all their work for helping to make this press conference uh, a reality. And if you'd like more information about this Waterpalooza weekend, uh, where arts and activism unite to get things done, um, check out waterpaloozafestival.com. And uh, do you have a closing comment, Bob, before we finish? Uh, just come join us this weekend. Uh, it's going to be fun. It'll be educational, exciting, and you'll help towards um, contributing towards the uh, completion of the film. And uh, uh, it's very important what's going on, and um, and we hope you can join us. And check uh, waterpaloozafestival.com uh, for information, schedules, tickets, you, the name, you name it. Great. Thank you. All right, we'll finish with a video to get you inspired uh, to come out and enjoy this amazing uh, three-day event.
Well, there you go. Uh, looks like fun. I'm, I'm going to be there. And uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Cress? Well, first of all, if you look at the chat, sorry, uh, it wouldn't record because I had to get your permission apparently ahead of time. Oops. Okay. So hopefully yours worked out okay. That's right. I, I'm recording. Uh, again, thank you for your time and helping to put this together. We'll be sending this out. We still have another uh, uh, two, Wednesday. Th we still have another three or four days till the event really gets going. And we hope to see you out on the amazing Sacramento San Joaquin uh, River Delta this weekend. Thanks. And uh, again, have a great day. Check out waterpaloozafestival.com.